Yo, what's up friends? So in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to get around and start producing faster without knowing any music theory whatsoever. So if you're like, Dan, I don't know my scales or chords and it's really limiting me from being able to produce quicker. Well, fear no more. We have a solution uh, and it's called Mixed in Keys Plugin Studio Edition combined with the new scale mat 4 version 4 from Sound Manufacturer. Shout out to Toby, Hunka, and uh, the other people that were a part of creating this super awesome Max for Live device. You can lock in any scale real quick. Same company that made the Cordo mat, so check that out. But we're going to look at the new scale mat that they released not that long ago. So I'm going to drop Mixed in Key Studio Edition on the Master Channel. And when I do that, we're going to see it start to tell us either the notes or the keys, depending on which mode we select that is being played and what it's listening to. So let's check it out. Here's a track I'm working on. Hope you guys dig it. And it's pretty smart. Like immediately it jumps into C minor, which is right. That's the right key of the song. So now that I know I'm in C minor, I'm going to create a new MIDI track where I can play back my beautiful little piano keyboard. I'm going to grab the scale mat and throw that bad boy on this track. And now down here I can hit the little open tab. And when I do that, this window pops up. Uh, maybe I'm going blind, but it, it seems like it's super, super hard to read. So I like to adjust the zoom right away to go to 140. And that makes it a lot bigger. And then now up here at the top, we can choose the key that we're in. So I'm going to select C and then choose minor right here. And then down here, we've got this little window view and we could turn on or off the scale if we wanted to. There's a lot of other parameters I'm not gonna go into here. Um, we could also adjust it to play chords. We could do a lot of different cool things with this and you can choose the range. So right now it's B3 to B3. So if I click and I hold, I click one note and then I click another note, if I drag, then you can see it's going to set the range that it allows this keyboard to play in, which is really dope. And now any notes I play on this piano is going to be in C minor. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm Dan Giffen, Ableton certified trainer and music enthusiast. I produce under the artist name Philia. I would love to help you work on your tracks from studio to stage. Uh, you can check out my membership, liveproducersonline.com, where you can access all my Ableton Live courses and hang out with me and I will help you work on your projects. So check that out. Also join the newsletter where I'll be sharing more tips and tricks and tutorials and live streams that are happening that may interest you. Other than that, go make some bangers. Use this time that we have with the pandemic to bust out some hot tracks, and I will see you guys next time.